Throughout history, monumental meetings of world leaders have shaped the course of the future. In November 1943, Roosevelt, Churchill, and Stalin got together in the Tehran Conference, and they decided that America would open a second front against the Nazis to help to defeat the enemy. On November 29th, at that conference, there was a ceremonial dinner, and Churchill presented Stalin with a specially commissioned sword, which he gave to him as a present to solidify the commitment that the two countries had towards each other. In Parshas Lech Lecha, we have a monumental meeting between leaders. Umalki Tzedek Melech Shalem came to meet Avram after Avram defeated the four kings in the great world war of the time. The Pasuk says, Umalki Tzedek Melech Shalem, Hotzi Lechem V'yayin. Now, Lechem V'yayin, bread and wine, is not nothing. But at this huge meeting, at this huge conference, this is what they shared, Lechem and Yayin. Perhaps the Pshat is that the Torah is not telling us the menu for that meeting, but rather Malki Tzedek, who Mepharshim say was shame, was symbolically passing the baton from his leadership to Avram's leadership. Lechem v'yayin. Lechem, bread, is better when it's fresh. Wine is better when it's old. And Malki Tzedek was telling Avram, you and I, we're lechem and yayin. I'm the yayin, I am old. I'm better when I'm old. I might be at the peak of my life, but you're the lechem and you're fresh. And I'm passing the baton of leadership to you. We say a similar idea in Shemona Esrei. Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu, Ve'elokei Avoseinu. We have to recognize that our world and our life is made up of a combination of the classic and the new. Elokeinu, our Hashem, and Elokei Avoseinu, the God of our fathers. And this is a praise to Hashem. This is in the praise section of the Shemona Esrei, when we could join the past and the future. What's interesting to note is that in both cases, Lechem V'yayin, and in the Shemona Esrei, Elokeinu V'elokei Avoseinu, it's the new, it's the fresh that comes first. That we don't have to only submit ourselves to what was going on in the past. That we have a duty to contribute, to innovate, and to add. But while that's our duty, we have to remember that we need to stand on the shoulders of the tradition. When we daven Shimon Esrei, the very first praise that we give to Hashem is, Hashem, I'm combining both elements, the lechem and the ayin. I'm making sure that I am strong and versed in the traditions of the past, and I'm taking that baton to lead the world into the future and to raise Kiddush Hashem moving forward. HaKadosh Baruch Hu should help us recognize the significance of the lessons of our predecessors, but also give us the confidence to make the contributions in the world so that we can always continually bring the world to a better place. Have a great Shabbos.